Hello friends, I am Abhishek Sangvi and today we will learn the simple BPMN process diagrams using Kamunda Modeler. So we will first learn the installation process. So I'm going to docs.kamunda.org and it will take me to the manual of the latest version 7.15. I'm going to the installation portion and the Kamunda Modeler. And in this, the operating system requirement is Windows 7 and Windows 10, or if you're using Mac, it is Mac OS 10.11 or later. And then the download, uh, there is a link to download the Kamunda modeler. And you can go here and you can download whatever operating system you have. For me, I have Windows, so I'll be downloading Windows 64 bit. And this is downloading here. Um, if you go further, it has a, a steps to install and then just run it. And you can also have those BPMN diagram to open by default with, the, with this modeler. So we have another step for that. So here is the zip file downloaded. I can extract the zip here or whatever location you want the software. For me, I've already extracted the Kamunda modeler here. If you double click the exe file, you will open the Kamunda modeler like this. To open a BPMN diagram, you click on this, create new file, and this is where your dashboard for creating a BPMN diagram. Let's imagine you are hungry. How about we could have a process to satisfy your hunger well? Now, let's get started on creating a process. Every process begins with a start event. In this case, we are going to start a process when our hunger is noticed. Next, we want to go out and buy some groceries. Let's create a task for that. To add symbols, you can drag them from the palette on the left and place them on the canvas, or you can create a flow directly from a symbol like this. We will name our task Acquire Groceries. Our process will only proceed after we acquire groceries. Now we can add another task to actually prepare a meal. Finally, we want to eat the delicious meal we prepared. So we can add another process, eat meal. To end the process, we can simply add an event at the end of it, the process. We will name it as hunger satisfied. BPMN usually starts on the left and moves to the right. The easiest way to understand the flow of this process is to imagine a token that moves from symbol to symbol. The process starts with our start event, hunger noticed, and this is also where the token is born. Then it follows the flow and the token moves to the acquired groceries and the token waits here until the groceries are acquired. And then the token moves forward to prepare a meal and the token waits here until the meal is prepared. And then the token moves forward to eat meal and wait here until we finish eating the meal. And once that's done, the token moves to the end event. And this is where our process completes. Our token gets consumed here at the end event. The process only completes until all the tokens are consumed. Now let's understand how we can use an XOR gateway here. So Let's rename our current processes, choose, choose recipe. And then let's add a XOR gateway here. We can name it as desired dish. And then we can have multiple tasks based on what dish we choose. So let's say we have one task, cook pasta. And then let's add more tasks here. Okay, now we'll need to add an XOR gateway to merge the flow. And now we need to add the exclusive answers for this decision here, what the dish we chose.
This completes our process. Now let's understand this process through the token flow. So let's assume the token got created at the start event uh, when the hunger got noticed, and then the token reached here to the next task and wait here until we choose a recipe. And then once we have the recipe, um, the desired, I mean, the XOR gateway, let's say, let's assume we chose pizza here. So the XOR gateway will channel the token to the next task in this path, and it reaches here, and the token waits here until we cook pizza. And once the pizza is cooked, the token moves forward, move to this XOR gateway, and goes to this task, and wait here until we eat the meal. And once we complete eating the meal, uh, the token goes to the end event and get con gets consumed here. Now let's run the process again, this time with another example. So let's say the hunger noticed again, and this time the recipe we, we chose was salad. So let's move for the token moves forward to XOR gateway and moves to this path of the salad. And then it waits here until we prepare salad. And then the token moves forward and goes to the merged XOR gateway and then moves forward to and wait here to the task of eat meal. Now here we eat meal, and once we eat meal, and this process complete, this task completes, the token moves forward to the end event. Now let's understand how we can use parallel gateway in this scenario. So let's make some space using this space icon to move the processes to the right, and let's add a parallel gateway here. So in this case, the parallel gateway, we can change the type to parallel gateway. Now consider the scenario that we want to eat the salad with every dish. Now in that case, we will be using the parallel gateway to always run a task. So in this case, we will be removing the pointer to the salad from XOR gateway, and we'll be adding a pointer from the parallel gateway. And this completes our process with the parallel and XOR gateway. Now let's understand this process from a token flow perspective. So at our start event, the token gets born, and then it moves forward to the choose recipe. Let's say we chose to eat pizza, and the token moves forward to the parallel gateway. And because we want to prepare salad every time with every meal, there will be the token will be split in two tokens basically, and then one token moves to the prepare salad flow, and at the same time another token moves to the, this path. So the token moves to the XOR gateway, and then because we chose pizza, the token will move to the pizza direction to the cook pizza point. And at the same time, we will have the token waiting here for the preparation of salad. Now let's think of a scenario where the salad gets prepared earlier than the pizza. And the token moves forward, moves to the XOR gateway, and goes to the eat meal. And we eat meal, and the token gets consumed. Now let's think about it that the, the token is still waiting. Another token is still waiting at the cook pizza uh, process, and the other pro I mean the salad has been already eaten. Now if we want to have both the items completed and only then the token needs to go to the next process. For that, we would need to have another parallel gateway added here at a merger task. So let's add our merging parallel gateway. And then we remove this arrow and add it to the parallel gateway. Now this will ensure that your token for the prepare salad would wait here on the parallel gateway until the cook pizza token moves forward and reaches here. And once both tokens reaches here to the merging parallel gateway, that's when the process will move forward for each meal. And, and it will, once the meal is eaten, it will move forward to the end event and it gets consumed here. Now let's see how we can add lens to this process. To add lens, we need to first put the process in a pool. And then we can choose the number of lens we need for this process. Now let's let's think it in a way that the process, I mean, it, there is a home where the kid chooses a recipe and mom prepares pasta and pizza and dad always prepares salad. Uh, and then the kid eats the meal. So to achieve that, let's say we have a pool name as home and then this is mom, this is dad and kid. Now, as mom always prepares pizza and pasta, we need to make some space here.
Now let's understand this process from a token flow perspective. So the kid uh, have a hunger notice and then the kid chooses SAP and let's say kid chooses to eat pizza. And because with every meal, we prepare salad too. So let's say the token got generated, reaches here, and then it reaches to the parallel gateway. It gets split in two tokens. So one token reaches to the salad and date works on it. And then the other token reaches to the exit gateway and it chooses Joe's pizza. So it reaches to the cook pizza task and mom cooks it. And once the date prepares salad, the token move forward, reaches to the parallel gateway and wait here. And then until once mom cooks the pizza, the token moves forward, reaches to the XOR gate end gateway, and then moves forward. And once it reaches to the parallel merge gateway, the token merge, both of those tokens merge together, and then that single token moves forward to the eat meal process, and then the hunger satisfied uh, end event. The token gets consumed here. Now let's look at the message events here. So I'll create a new diagram to understand a message event. So let's say we start with hunger noticed, and then we create a task choose pizza. And let's say the scenario is that we don't cook the pizza ourselves, but we order it. And then we try to understand with this process flow, the message events. So we choose pizza, we'll create an intermediary event to order pizza. Now, if you look at the tool, we have multiple types of events. The two important ones here are the catch event and the throw event. In our case, to order pizza, we are basically sending the event out, so we'll be using through event. And once we order the pizza, we will have another intermediary process to, I mean, we, we could have a process here to wait for the pizza to arrive, but instead of that, it makes more sense to have an event here. So let's say we have another event to receive the pizza, and in this case, we'll be using the cage event. And now we can have another process to eat pizza. And this ends our process. Now let's understand this process from a token flow perspective. So at start event, our token got born. It moves forward right here to have this task completed to choose pizza. Once the pizza is chosen, the token moves forward to this intermediary event and wait here to get an order placed. Once an order placed, it moves forward and wait here until the pizza arrives. And once the pizza arrives, the token moves forward and wait here for the eat pizza process to be completed. And once that's complete, the token moves forward and moves to the end event completing the process.